rising and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for 300 subscribers i am grateful for every single one of you who follow along my journey those of you that i'm able to help and give advice to I'm just really thankful it's really kind of cool today i'm going to be sharing my massage therapy school essentials the things that i could not go without i put everything in two separate categories the first category i'm going to talk about your core classes a huge tip i have is keep everything you get from anatomy and physiology classes you can throw them away after graduation keep them until then you will need it if you don't already have one i recommend getting a printer i know libraries have printers and your school may have a printer but it's just so nice when you're at home with your online classes to have it right there ready to go since we are still in this weird place with covid some of your classes will probably be online a computer an ipad a laptop that is going to be essential for school if if this isn't an option for you, you might be able to do it from your phone. Reach out to your school. They may have a laptop that you can rent during your time in school. An anatomy and physiology book. Definitely wait and see what book your school wants you to use. Most schools with the nursing and massage therapy program use Wiley. I did purchase the one that my school wanted me to use, but I had a book from when I was in nursing school and I liked it better. I didn't open the new one at all. However, a very common book I think every massage therapy school uses it. You can buy this now if you're just thinking about going to massage school and it'll introduce you to the information. Trail guide to the body. No disrespect to the Bible, but this will be your new Bible pretty much. You will 100% benefit from having these books. Think about investing in a set of flashcards like these. I have used it mostly to review the skeletal system and the muscular system, but it also includes all the other systems like the nervous system, digestive, lymphatic, at least at my school, I did learn about all of those as well. I don't know why I didn't use them to really study that. This is what they look like. I don't know what is that? The brainstem? These are the muscular ones. These are the ones I use most often. These are just a really easy way to study and review without having to get all of your books out. Now getting into my hands-on clinic essentials. First, a nail care kit. I always keep a little vial, a pair of fingernail clippers on me. Your fingernails grow, and if they're like mine, they're gonna grow even faster once you start using them all the time. You want to make sure your fingernails are kept so you don't scratch anybody. Also, keeping band-aids and finger cuts with you in case you have a scratch on your finger. Come on, Hannah, get to the good stuff. Okay, let's go. You will need a medium or a lubricant. When you first get into school, you should be able to try out all the different types. That is what my school did when I was a little baby, first quarter student. My preference was strictly gel, only gel. It was the most similar thing to oil and I really liked the glide of it. I was a huge hater of anything else at the time, but I really had only learned Swedish massage techniques. I didn't have those skills yet. My school was out of gel, so the only thing I could think that maybe I would like would be lotion. It was okay. I still don't really like it. Now, all that I like to use is cream. This one is specifically my favorite, the dual purpose massage cream. I've never read the back of these. Anyway, I like both of these. Now that I've learned a lot of different techniques, neuromuscular therapy or trigger point work, this works perfect for me. I can incorporate my Swedish and have the glide, but also it's not slippery. It allows me to have the control that I need to find the trigger points. You're also going to need little containers for your medium. I stopped using the throwaway plastic ones because I was just wasting so much. I got reusable ones. If you do decide that you like lotion or gel, they do have little like holster things. It's like a belt that you can put these in so it's right beside you. Cream doesn't come out of a bottle like this as easily. So I just like to have mine out in a little bowl, easily accessible. Next, sheets and blankets. Nick, we do three 50 minute massages. I take a total of four sets just in case. I recommend trying out different fabrics, microfiber, cotton, flannel. I have thin ones, thick ones. A lot of the stuff that I've talked about in the video so far, I've linked in the description for you. I'll also link one to my clinic bag video where I talk a little more in depth about the types of sheets that I got. Your clinic may provide pillows or bolsters for your clients. I personally like to use a bolster more than I do pillows. I purchased mine from a retiring LMT. You can find these on Amazon or a massage warehouse. 
house. As far as I know, a table is not a requirement for school, but eventually you're going to want your own so you can start practicing at home. Those are all of my personal massage therapy school essentials. You can add or take away from that list. Let me know what items are essential for you during your time in school. Thank you so much for watching and best of luck in your journey.